Members of Baltimore's Office of Emergency Management canvassed the Frederick Avenue corridor in West Baltimore to give out information and resources about flash floods. It's an area that has seen a tremendous amount of flooding in the last few years. Rachel Menatoff explains. Baltimore's Office of Emergency Management, together with the fire and health departments, community groups, and elected officials, are going door to door connecting with residents in the Westgate, Beachfield, and Tremont communities, providing information and answering questions about flash flooding. It's well known that uh, in 2018, uh, which was the same day of the Ellicott City flooding, uh, there was a stationary thunderstorm over this area. This area of southwest Baltimore was hit hard by flash flooding, not once but twice in 2018, resulting in the rescue of 21 people from six foot flood waters. The fire department says the water speed and depth made it particularly challenging. And of course, there can be long lasting effects from storm damage. I've actually just learned that this neighborhood has some of the highest rates of. Um, uh, of uh, pediatric asthma in the city of Baltimore, and a lot of that may be connected to uh, the issue of mold growth, which we know is a water a water problem. Crews distributed these pamphlets on flood insurance, flood mitigation, and sustainability resources from the city's planning department. This was definitely uh, a, a life safety issue that that we addressed that day, and it's one that could potentially reoccur. The group also spread the word about the Be More Alert system, which is an automated dial-in system through the Office of Emergency Management, which will alert you to severe weather and other emergency events. To sign up, you can head over to this story on WJZ.com. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.